is up YouTube. This is Mark at Auto Peak Detailing. Today I have the pleasure of unboxing and kind of, we're going to figure out how to use this together. It's the uh, Griot's water deionizer, the resin in it. So we'll take that out of there. I don't know how to hook it up. It did not come with directions. I saw another video out there that says it came with directions, but uh, I did not find any directions in mine. Here's another hose. This is the one that plugs into it. Right. Let's see what else we got in here. All right, so we've got this that uh, I believe this hooks up to the uh, the front here. I will adjust the camera here momentarily. The thing I got was a bill, a special thank you offer, and uh, through the uh, magazine, their, their catalog. Which is kind of cool because not a lot of people still do catalogs, paper catalogs. Sometimes it's just kind of nice to look through them. Anywho, so we've got this. This is their shut off. It's, uh, I think you can open up and close it and bypass. Because realistically, you only want to use this thing for the rinsing pro uh, the process after you clean the car already, because otherwise you're gonna go through this resin really quick. I read a couple reviews on Amazon and there are people complaining about how quickly they went through it, but I believe from what they wrote, they were using it all the time. So if you use it for the washing pro uh, process, it's kind of just a big waste because when you're using your snow foam or whatever you're using, it's got a, the pH is gonna kill the, uh, the water spots, it's gonna neutralize it. So there's no point in doing that. Just gotta keep the car wet, gotta keep, keep it from um, drying in sunlight. So you screw these, basically they fit right on there. It's very intuitive on how this goes on. It's mindless. Uh, it does come with resin inside of it. You can screw the cap off here just to make sure it has resin in it, make sure there's no mice or any, or beetles. Beetlejuice, 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 yeah, nothing like that. So, resin's in it, secure it nice and tightly. And then you have these two valves here that go on the end. Hear the jets flying over. Sound of freedom. Okay, so we're going to put these on here. Now, when I got one of these, the uh, O-ring was kind of off kilter, so you want to make sure those are in there correctly, or else you're going to have leaks. And you don't want that. Okay, so we're going to get these on nice and tight. All right, and that's pretty much it on getting this thing hooked up. So everything's tight, everything maxes out really nicely so you know when it's tight, you don't have to like over tighten it. It's, it has little stops on there, so you know it's tight. So next, I'm going to do a quick test of what my water is with a TDS meter. And I think it's like almost 200 or somewhere around there. And then um, we are going to hook it up to the filters I already have there because I want some extra filtration just to get any kind of bigger particulates so we can make this last as long as possible. So hold on, we're gonna go over to the faucet and the water filters and hook this thing up. Okay, so we are here at the faucet here. I have an open and close valve here because this thing tends to drip a tiny bit and I don't like that. So I have an open and close valve and have it marked. And then, so before we get too carried away here, I'm gonna tell you that these quick disconnects are gonna be your best friend. So if you don't have these already, you can get them on Amazon, you can get them on Obsessed Garage, you can get them a lot of different places. You can probably even get them at Home Depot. And these are the brass ones. So we're gonna hook up a quick disconnect to my, um, to my water filter here already. My dual uh, RV water filter, it's got charcoal and it's got another um, little micron filter on it for smaller particulates or larger particulates. I can't talk today. 
So we're gonna thread this baby on. Okay, so I don't think I have big enough pliers here, but I definitely do. These are like pipe threading ones. So we're gonna tighten that up nice. And then this will uh, fit right up to here. And then we are going to, let's see here. We're gonna put one of these on here too. I'll thread this on. Now I have some tape already on here. So let me move this out of the way here so you guys can see. Let me scoozy. Okay, okay, all right. All right, so we'll thread this thing on here. You don't want to cross thread this because these are plastic, so be very careful. And uh, you're not going to want to you're not going to want to put too much. Just give it a quick little nice little turn. Okay. And then we've got this other end here, male end, and we'll thread that on here real quick. Don't forget your. Uh, Plumber's tape. Give that a nice couple little turns here. Don't want any leaks, but you'll find out quickly whether you have leaks or not. So we'll find out together, in fact. Okay, so we can uh, attach that there. Nice little snug fit. And then we've got one more. This is the hose I'm gonna be using for the time being. Now I do have a wall mount pressure washer system I'll be setting up and I'll walk you guys through that too because it's the first time I'm doing it so I have no idea what I'm doing. But I watched some videos on YouTube so should be able to figure it out. So we are all set up here. This thing does move back and forth. It's got some play in it which is nice so it's not going to break. And we're going to put a quick disconnect on this too really quick. And uh, we're going to test the water straight from the faucet and then we're going to test the water that comes through here. That's okay, that. so we have a male on the end here, quick disconnect to the hose that goes out to my Adams pressure washer for the time being. And then we have this female end right here. And now, I don't know if you guys can see that well here, but let's move this around. Now we have this all hooked up and we will test um, straight from the faucet here and then we will test Actually, I'll test probably right from right here because that's through the filter, which still is not making that huge of a difference. It'll get the bigger pieces out. And then we'll test straight from here and see if we can get it down to zero. Hopefully that's the plan. All right, so we're going straight from these RV filters, this dual setup and this hose. We're gonna turn this on and uh, hopefully this thing is shut so I don't spray myself in the face. It is on. Okay, let's turn that off. Okay, now it's off. <laughs> so we're gonna read that with the uh, with this TDS meter here. Gonna kick that thing on. We're at uh, zero now. All right, let's put a little bit in here without dousing myself here. Okay. All right, and we've got 205. As you can see there, we've got 205, which is, I don't know, seems kind of high, but we're on well water, so there's that. So now we're gonna plumb it over here and check and see what we got over here. Okay, so we connect this up and this runs to the hose through here. I believe it primed. I hope it did. And we will uh, do a quick reading on this. See, see what it looks like. Wow, that's quite high pressure. Okay, so it's not on, so let me open these. And then we will, uh, I'm gonna go run this really quick. 
Okay, so I've got this little cup here. Let's fill this guy up. This thing's super touchy. Okay, filled that guy all the way up. And voila, we're at zero, 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 zero. So this thing is awesome. Now I just gotta figure out how to turn this thing on and off uh, so that I don't, so I use it just for the rinse function. So we're gonna try to figure that out real quick and I'll be right back to show you if I can figure this out, so. Okay, and so if we just turn these um, from straight forward, so this is on here when they're facing straight out like this, straight out, that's on. And then if we click it like this, like it says with the arrows, it's off. And now we're back to 198. So when you're just washing the car, you're gonna wanna have this off when you're foaming and, and washing it. And then when you're doing your final rinse, once you've cleaned the car, you're gonna wanna turn these to the straight through right here. And then you're gonna use deionized water so you don't have any water spots. So thanks for coming along on this journey and figuring this out while I figure it out and uh, in real time, cause that's, I'm setting this up right now. So stay tuned. I'm gonna be posting a, a, a hot water carpet extractor, uh, the Adams one, but it doesn't say Adams on it and it's about $500 cheaper. So stay tuned for that. And then I've got a couple other things. I'm gonna be doing a wall set up for a pressure washer uh, that I got from Obsessed Garage. So all in all, this thing's really awesome. I will give you updates on how quickly it uses the resin and what the cost is for that. Because like I said, you just wanna be using it for the basically the last part when you're rinsing the car. So all in all for 300 bucks, this thing's pretty sweet. And it's a little cheaper than the spotless ones that are about $400 for, I would say, a similar size. So, very good purchase. Uh, I will give you guys updates here in the next couple months to tell you how it's going. So, stay tuned for more videos. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to see some other review videos and me cleaning customer cars, uh, tips and tricks, and whatever else I decide to post. Have a great day. God bless.